So, you guys are wondering if your phone that's been handed down from your gran, to your mum, to your brother, to your dog, and then to you, will be able to run Apex Legends Mobile. In this video, boys and girls, I'm going to show you exactly what specs you will need to play the game. And then you can decide whether or not you will need an upgrade. Let's go. Okay, brothers and sisters, welcome back. And your boy is going to help you today with the specs you will need to run Apex Legends Mobile. Now, before I start, guys, okay, I want you guys to smash a like and comment down below right now what phone you are going to be using to play Apex Legends Mobile. And I will reply to every single comment with either a yes or or a no. I know I've asked you guys to do this before, but it makes things a lot easier rather than, you know, you having to watch every little detail of this video and if you are still confused afterwards. So comment down below your phone and I will type yes or no. Now, starting off, guys, before the first beta of Apex Legends Mobile came out in India back in April this year, this image right behind me was floating around, which shows a lot of the lower end devices that will be able to play the beta. Now, please bear in mind, guys, that this image was the devices for the first beta and that first beta was very low quality very low fps it wasn't that updated and we've had two more betas since then that have brought us very high quality and very high settings now behind me here is the picture of the in-game settings the graphics quality settings go from smooth all the way up to ultra hd and the fps settings goes from low all the way to ultra now it's still unconfirmed whether the settings will change when the game fully releases but we could pretty much tell already what what device you will need to run the game well. Now check this image right here. This image was from the private playtest of Apex Legends Mobile for the third and fourth beta. The devs were looking for participants who had either a Google Pixel 3 or higher or a Samsung Galaxy S8 or higher. There are three main things you will basically need to run the game well when a game fully comes out. Number one is RAM which means random accessible memory. If you're a serious mobile gamer, then you will want a phone with at least six gigabytes of RAM. Then you have number two, which is the processor, where in this case, the Samsung Galaxy S8 has a Snapdragon 835. And then you have number three, which is memory gigabytes, which for global release of this game, you will probably need quite a lot. The last two betas had around sort of two to three gigabytes just for the beta, but I predict the global launch will probably be a big, big game. It'll probably be around 67 gigabytes so i would delete other games and make sure you've got that memory available now i'm going to split android and ios up for you guys starting with android devices i've tested the previous betas on my old samsung galaxy s7 edge which has four gigabytes of ram and uses a Snapdragon 820, which is one of the lower end processors. The game ran smooth. It was okay. It didn't really crash at all, but I could definitely sense, you know, slight fl frame drops. It was slightly laggy. So for Androids, I would say the absolute minimum processor you will need is a Snapdragon 710 with at least three gigabytes of RAM. Again, this is still one of the lower end devices. You're still going to slightly lag with a lower end device like that, but that's the absolute minimum I would suggest playing the game on. Now for iOS, unfortunately, as you guys know, we aren't able to test the game out yet because it's only available for Android, but I found an article here, which is from a journalist who interviewed Respawn and stated here that the spec requirements include an A11 Bionic and above for iOS, which suggests that an iPhone 8 and above would be enough to run Apex Legends Mobile. This article is a few months old and there's been a lot of updates to the game, so in my personal opinion, based off what I know from playing iOS devices before, I think even an iPhone 7 could run the game mobile on mobile at very, very low settings. But again, that is the absolute minimum for iOS devices. Now, I don't need to go into too much detail on the higher end devices since most of them, if not all of them, will pretty much run Apex Legends Mobile perfectly anyway. I personally use a Red Magic 6 to play each beta, which has 12 gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 888, which is the latest processor available for Android. And I didn't run into any problems whatsoever apart from the in-game bugs. The gameplay behind me is on max graphics and the highest FPS possible as well. So if you really want to be a pro on Apex Mobile, I would suggest grabbing yourself a Red Magic device or something similar along the lines of that, which is probably an Asus Rogue 5. I hope this video has helped answer some of your questions because, again, I get a lot of comments from people wondering if they can even play the game when it comes out on their old flip phones that they got from their grandma. 
Um, in regards to the next open beta, my personal prediction is it will release in December next month based on all the research I've done, but take that with a grain of salt because we still haven't had any solidified news from Respawn themselves. We usually get the website that updates with uh, the date and the regions and the time it comes out, but we've got absolutely nothing. We're in the dark at the moment, boys, and the hype is dying down, so... Don't fear, I, I feel it's definitely going to come before the end of this year. I That's still only a prediction, but that's what I think. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure you smash a sub and a like and comment your personal devices down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But before I go, since the contract is pre uh, content is pretty dry at the moment, comment down below what types of videos you guys would like to see when the next beta comes, because I'm slowly running out of ideas, I'm not going to lie. This is why I'm posting a lot less. I'm only posting one to two videos every week or two, just to keep, you know, the, the channel active and to keep you guys interested and the hype sort of going. I post a lot on Twitter, so make sure you go follow my Twitter, RoseSmith underscore, and uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching, guys. Comment below any questions, and I'll catch you boys in the next video. Peace!